and it's Friday, Yay. and you're watching Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to the show. Hello. And there's a cat. What's going on again? Already causing problems. Already. Yeah. He's ready to be kicked it, out it, immediately. It doesn't, it doesn't take long. No. We'll see how that long that lasts. Welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you could join us on this uh, Friday evening, yeah. and you're not out watching a certain movie that I'm not interested in, but the rest of the world seems to be. Oh, I see, yes, yeah. But maybe you saw it last night at midnight, right. so don't type anything in the chat. If you have seen it or you haven't seen it, just don't talk about it at all. <laughs> We're here to play video games, homebrew video games. Yay! On I, the Atari 2600. I see a voice out of sync. Ah, let's fix that immediately. Because I didn't press the right button to fix the bug. Thank you very much. Woo. And now it's back in sync. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. What movie? Episode 9 <laughs> of Star Wars? No. <laughs> no. Um, we're going to be playing four games today. Four old games. Very old games. Old homebrew games? Yes, from 2001 and 2002. Woo. Yeah. Very old. That is very old. Um, so if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, make sure you are, um, or you'll miss some of it. You miss half of it, in fact. Um, we're going to be playing Laser Laser Assault. I think that's how it's pronounced. From 2002. Mm -hmm. The rest are from 2001. Gunfight, uh, Jammed, and Vault Assault. And Jammed is by Thomas Jens. It's one oh, of his uh, cool. earlier ones. Nice. And uh, I want to say hi to everybody in the Hello. chat. I supposed to just jumped in there. Uh, Arena Foot's here. Welcome, Arena Foot. RC7E. Uh, Militant Buddhist, I know there's some more people, Azure, Azure and Ground Trooper are the people typing so far. Welcome yes. to the show. Hello. Welcome to a Friday <clears throat> evening. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers as well. Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, RC70, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, and Tiki Dan K. Mm -hmm. And you can subscribe and support the show for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch yes. account and click subscribe. Mm -hmm. So we have a poll question. Oh, cool! Which we I haven't, haven't done, done in, a that while. in a while. Yeah. No, because I'm not going to do it every show just to have a poll. If I think of something, I'll do it. What if you're I not going to be Buzzfeed? Like no, you know, top little, ten yes. homebrew games <laughs> of 2012. Yeah. No. A quiz every single every single episode. Yeah. 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 Top twelve games about cats. <laughs> no, if I don't have one. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. So uh, let's start the poll. Actually, in a second, I'll read it out. Um, so I saw a news story going around yesterday and today. Mm. And it was about an incredibly rare Atari arcade game, a cabinet. And there's only there's only three discovered. Uh, it was never really properly released into the public, into the arcades. Um, but recently, the ROM of this game was released online so that everybody could play it in MAME on emulation hmm. um, because it's, it's like a game that nobody's ever played before and nobody's barely even heard of. Um, but the cabinet owners, these three, three people who own this cabinet, or two because there's only three cabinets, one, is, one person has two of them, um, of course, <laughs> are super upset. Because they other people can play the game that they own. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A yeah. Ank Ark or R Ark or something. Yeah. Militant yeah. Buddhist has heard about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're super upset because now they're, it isn't as exclusive. They're not, it's, it's not as special. Yeah. Because yeah. they would bring these cabinets to say video game conventions and they would well, be the highlight. And now it's like, eh. We can make our own cabinets, throw a name on it. Anybody can play it. Yeah, you know what though? And it's not like big having money. it's not like having the original. No. So it's there's still there's still like some value to to seeing that cabinet yeah. and playing the real Nobody game. Nobody else has that cabinet. Yeah. They're still the only ones who have yeah. that cabinet. So I I just I think that's a little a little petty. A little and petty. Uh, they are suspicious that somebody actually snuck in and copied oh, the game. Oh, really? Because that they is... They're that the is only a little ones interesting. Yeah. that have this cabinet. And they're suspicious of this guy who serviced oh. one of their cabinets. Ooh. Their other games, they think that he went to 
this cabinet, copy the ROMs, put them back in, and then, you know, with a, anyway, that's all rumor and speculation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unconfirmed yeah. at this moment, yeah. they're going through uh, security camera footage. <laughs> so we'll see how this develops. Nothing to do with homebrew, but I thought it was interesting. Um, because it relates a little bit to homebrew, mm. because we get, you know, games on cartridge. Yeah. And there are some games that literally there is not a ROM out for. Yes. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple different cases. There's games that never get put on cartridge and the ROM ROMs are just put out. Um, there's games that do get put on cartridge and they release the ROMs as well. Mm -hmm. There's games that get put on cartridge and then, you know, when they've sold enough or enough time has passed, they put out the ROM because mm. they're not making any money or whatever and you know they can put them out or there's the games like i said um there's a couple um there's boulder dash mm. that is one of them nobody has a rom of it okay um i can't think of any other ones but i'm sure there are other ones there are instances of it um <clears throat> so those never get released you either have the cartridge or you don't and boulder dash is sold out yeah so there are like x copies and if you don't have it, you don't get to play it. Yeah. And yeah. and just that's that's it. So I'm going to ask everybody out in the audience what they think, what they like or what they think or what should be done. You know, mm. it's up to you how you want to interpret this. Mm. Um, so those four things. Should the binaries be re released whether or not there's a card release? Mm. Should binaries be released once the, starts, the sales start to decrease? Or binaries should be released when the carts are out of production, like when they're not selling them anymore. Mm. Or the binary releases are completely up to the developer, like whether they want to or not. Did somebody say Boulder Dash? I did. <laughs> I did say Boulder Dash. So let's start the poll. Yeah. There you go. So it's it, one, two, three, four there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's up on the screen now. Awesome. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I would say, okay, I kind of wish you didn't have four. <laughs> I know that. Because I think a lot of people are going to say it should four. be up to the developer. Yes. I, I mean, ultimately it is. <sighs> so. But I, 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 like, so I, I, I almost wish you didn't have four there and <laughs> people know. would pick one, two, or three. So you can ignore because four it's, if you it's, want. It's, well. Because <laughs> it is up to the developer. I think it should be what would you. 3.5. What, what, yeah, exactly. Uh, um, uh, I guess the bigger question is, do you think... What if, what would your preference be almost? Well, you know? every, everybody's For preference. For individuals, but individuals might be developers like in this forum. Yeah, if you're a developer, They might develop you, games and also play them. You so answer you how you do it. probably have two, two opinions in a way. Yeah. People you know? who don't develop are going to be like, yeah, send me the binaries. Yeah, yeah. Give me the ROMs. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. And and uh, the people, developers, are going to answer how they do it normally. Yeah. Some developers also give out demos. That's been happening yeah. a bit lately as well. But it's not the full it's final. It's not the full, but they give out so something. So you, you get something to play. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's something enough yeah. that you can play it and get a sense of it and then go, this is awesome, I want the full game. Mm. Arena Foot is, show me the ROMs! <laughs> uh, no open source from the start option. Oh, that's... I mean, that is another option, but most most people who are playing the games that aren't developers don't really know what to do with the code, like the, yeah, the open true. source. Yeah, that's true. And you can also disassemble it pretty pretty easy. Yeah. They're not huge games. Yeah. And, and there's been lots of dis people who disassemble the old, the old ROMs as well. Um, but I didn't think of that one. Yeah, open source is another option where they actually show you the actual code to make the games too. Yes. So you can learn from it. Yeah. And there's there are plenty of those people too that post the uh, uh, Batari basic code or even the um, assembly code as well. Yeah. So it's up to you how you answer it. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have put four. I well, don't know. kind of ruined it. But, but I know you I, can have Boulder two Dash. opinions, you know. And, yeah. and and I think I think uh, it, I mean it would in, in some ways it is better if there's a there's a uniform approach. <laughs> It's not going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I, yeah. Boulder Dash isn't shared because it's a homebrew under license. And the people who are making that homebrew don't have a lot of say. Yeah. They said, can we make your game that you own? Yeah. yeah. And they and said, that's fair. yes, but. No ROMs. No ROMs. Yeah. You can only put out on cartridge. When it's done, it's done. And and they, they had a limited license for that. And unfortunately, nobody can buy Boulder Dash. Yeah. 
So I don't have Boulder Dash and I've never played it on the show. Yeah. So that's, but they don't care because if I played it on the show, it wouldn't sell anymore because they aren't selling it. So yeah. they, they're just like, uh, no Boulder Dash for you, even if we're not making money on it. So are you going to give your opinion now to try and influence the audience <laughs> or are you going to wait until the poll is done? Like I, I know you have an opinion. I know. You I have would an answer it from like, I'm going to answer it from a developer's point of view. Cause yeah. I do want to make some games. Um, I would either release the ROM mm. no matter what, because there are people who just don't buy cartridges and they just want to play it. They don't have money for it. There's always going to be that segment of the population. Yeah. <clears throat> or I would make a demo version, but probably not. I would just release the ROM. Yeah. I, I just don't really care <laughs> that much. It's not a money-making thing. Like, this is not big yeah. bucks happening here. Yeah, but some people may be trying to recoup some of the, oh, the yeah. money. Oh, yeah, because they put in a lot of work. Yeah. They're never going to make over, like, $5 an hour, probably. <laughs> well, yeah, it's Unless true. you're really quick. Yeah. And you make awesome games. Yeah. That are going to sell really yeah. high. <clears throat> yeah, I could get a Boulder Lash loan to me. That is possible. And I could play the one-level demo of it. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th there is options for me. So they did release a demo version of Boulder Dash. So that was their route. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I, I, I was going to say, I, yeah. I mean, I play games with you. Yes. I don't have a huge opinion when it comes to ROMs or, or cartridges. I do think having the opportunity to sell cartridges is is a value. It's, it's yeah. almost it's not like unfair. You make films. Yeah. And in the same way, you want to have the opportunity to sell your film yes even though maybe at some point you want people to you want more people to have access to it if that makes sense you know mm -hmm. but yes. but but and that's why when you talked about you know people releasing a cart and then releasing the rom yeah i could see the value in that too where <clears throat> if you want if if there are people who really want it and they want the cart and they they want the physical media yeah they can they there's some value to getting access to it first and paying for it and yeah. then releasing the ROM after the fact. Yeah. But I, I don't have a huge opinion because, you know. No, with, with uh, films, <laughs> with films it's, it's really different. There's it is a really massive different. investment. Yeah. Massive. With the, with Atari 2600 games, you literally. It's still an investment. You, it's investment in time. Yeah, it's And true. what is your time worth? Yeah. You, all you need is a, the simplest of computers and a keyboard. Yeah, that's like, true. Like really. But, but um, I can see, I can see why you would stepwise release something. Yes. And and give people the value of if they if they put the money in and buy the cart, then they actually get it a little sooner. And and mm -hmm. but you're still opening it up at the back end and releasing the ROM so so people can play it. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I, I and Dan said when I did my second game, Laser Man eighty eight, I did two versions. Mm -hmm. The one on Atari Age only had five levels and there was a limited cart version that had that bonus. bonus levels. Yeah. So that's he did the kind of the demo version of it. Where we I have cat. crazy cats today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so Hi, that buddy. so that is a one that's also that wasn't on my list where yeah. it was demo and full on cartridge. So that yeah. would yeah. It kind of falls under not releasing the full ROM, I guess. And and yeah. yeah. So that's kind of a, a good compromise. It's a, it's an in-between. So people who maybe don't have money to buy carts can still play the game a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Militant Buddhist has a tuxedo cat as well. Slep boots. <laughs> oh, and this is this is Pixel because yeah. he's got a little burnt out Pixel on his stomach. Yeah. It's a black Pixel. Yeah. Um. So some mail uh, news and feedback. We'll get to the poll after it's closed. Mm -hmm. Um. Coming up, mid May, there will be a super secret Champ Games exclusive homebrew coming, mm. and it's going to be so secret. That we won't even know <laughs> what the game is. They'll just send it to us and, you know. No, they're going to send the ROM. With a random, randomly generated file name <laughs> for the ROM. Yes. And then you just hit, hit, you know. Almost. It's even more play. secret than that. Okay. I won't be able to play it till they give me the code. <laughs> when you boot the ROM, I'm going to have to put in a code. Oh, nice. <laughs> So good job, John. <laughs> yeah. So John Chapo is, he really wants to make this super secret. So who knows what it is? Mm -hmm. We don't know. He's been working on a couple things. So I have, I have some suspicions of what it is, but he comes out of left field sometimes and just like, here's a whole new game. Sure, I haven't even been talking sure. about. So it's tentatively planned for May 15th, but that might shift depending yeah. 
on how he he gets along with the development. Mm. But he's saying about two two weeks or something. Yeah, super hot. It is super <laughs> hot. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a literal passcode, and he's going to be in the chat, and he's going to type the passcode in. Okay. And then we can play it. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Uh, Are you supposed to know what it is? Oh, uh, I will never guess. So it must be something completely brand new. Excellent. That he's not talked about. Excellent. Yeah. So that's even better. That's very exciting. Um, and now that my Uno card is working, um, we have an Uno card special that's planned for mid June. Mm -hmm. So we have we're going to have two brand new Uno specific games. These are the first ever Uno specific games that have ever been made mm. for the cartridge. Did you talk about? Your modifications? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, the last, last one? Last show. With Ireland? I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just cleaned all my carts in my system and it worked. So It's crazy. I mean, yeah. I, I told the long story version yeah. of it. No, 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 no. no I clean just Clean your sure. carts, clean your consoles, <laughs> people. It yeah. does help. All those Activision games you think don't work, they do. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's your your system gets uh, Uno card. Yes, it's like Harmony. Um, it's different. Um, uh, I'll do a lot of research and, and do go through all the specs and why okay. how it's different. It's similar to the Harmony card where it does have a processor on it, mm. a coprocessor, but it works a little bit differently. Mm. Um, uh, you will never guess. New but classic. Oh, it's a port then. Or a type of game that was done before. Stop giving hints, I suppose. Yeah. You're bad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to be doing the 12-hour Stella fundraising marathon at late June right now, okay. I think. Yeah. And we'll probably run it... From noon to midnight, possibly okay. on a Friday. Noon to midnight, I can, oh, because okay. you can come in halfway I'll, through. I'll come in halfway through, yeah. Because Darcy <laughs> will be here on a Friday, yeah. And then Erlen can come in at a certain point or be there for the whole oh, thing, okay. And then you can come in for the ending. Oh, okay, yeah, I if like that. That works. That sounds like fun. Yep. I assume you'll be here for the full twelve hours. Of course. Of course. <laughs> and I've got a whole bunch of the games lined up cool. for ones that I've been wanting to finish. Okay. Or get high scores on or, you know, put more time in. Yeah. They're like the games that you have to put in a lot of time. Mm. Like they're adventure games or you have to get to the last level or something mm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and there was, uh, Irina Foote says, yes, Uno Kart is like the Harmony. Yes. Uh, there was a post in the Atari Age forums by Radiohead, that not by the band, but somebody called Radiohead. Okay. I've discovered many great homebrews through your YouTube channel postings. Oh. Oh, nice. Um, and he says, are you able uh, or allowed to post links to where f to find the games? Well, many here at our Atari age, I often have to search Google to find them. Thanks for the show. Mm. So uh, you're very welcome. I'm glad you are finding brand new games to play because yeah. there are literally hundreds, mm -hmm. hundred, thousands, I think, of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Homebrew Atari 2600 games. Oh, that cat. He's okay. He's looking for bugs. Yeah. Is he in the, is he mm. in the cat cam? Uh, it's oh. covered up right now with the uh oh with the pole he would be yes yeah but nobody can see him <laughs> um so you're very welcome i'm glad people are seeing and finding out about new games because we get to find out about them too mm -hmm. and it's lots of fun it is and um actually mm -hmm. arena foot is the best person to find uh where all these games are because he maintains the master list mm -hmm. of all homebrew games i do provide links in the forum in my forum thread um, when we play them, and they usually go to Atari Age posts, which you can download the ROMs from there. Um, so that's probably the best way to find them. And of course, Arena Foot's list, which provides so much information as well. Mm -hmm. um, being one of the judges, one was uh, just the best with all these new ROMs, bought mm -hmm. a couple of them. Yeah, so people buy the cartridges by watching the show yeah. and download them so it there's all works out there's something fun about having a cartridge too that you can actually plug into your system it is it's I, satisfying I, it's very satisfying and I you think. get all the artwork and yeah, you get bonus yeah. things and little cards yeah. and manuals and it's yeah it's lots of fun yeah <laughs> uh proto man k welcome i have a cart manufactured here in brazil it has support for the pitfall 2 special chip but does not have the arm like Harmony Cart, mm. so it must have the DPC chip mm. in it. So, yeah, so there you go. It, somebody else has... Cat! Psst! Pixel! Psst! Stop it! Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, Milton Buddhist, I need to send you a pic. I have them on my wall with all my games and homebrews. Nice. Oh, awesome. Yes. Send it on over. Um, there's, a tar there's been an Atari Dev Studio update. We did talk about this last episode. 
maybe they uh, maybe he was listening mk smith because he's added a sprite editor to it um sprite editor is based on sprite mate by ingo at github and it was suggested by random terrain so maybe not um so this is a programming environment for uh, programming atari mm -hmm. 2600 games and they've just added they've just added uh, a way to make sprites easily on it so that cool. helps quite a bit mm. um so go check that out on the atari age forums and it is time to take a look at the polls and it is the second one binary should be released once the cart sales decrease so that's a good compromise that's the winner with 42 percent so the people working hard on it put out the game people want to buy it yeah. get that and then the people who don't have the money or don't want a cartridge just want the binaries can get that too yeah. and i've actually seen um places that have donation wear as well where you donate what you want mm. or they have a minimum like two dollars or five dollars mm. and then they uh then you can download it instantly the game mm -hmm. in binary form because some people don't have room or don't want to uh have shelf fulls of yeah. video games they, they, as well. they don't want all the hardware you yeah know, climbing up all the walls and uh, it's yeah nice. <laughs> it's nice it's a nice display yeah there are worse things there are worse things and in second yeah. uh binary should be released <laughs> when the carts are out of production so it's like nope they're done everybody wants yeah. to buy it is yeah. had it uh and then tied for third is all binaries should be released and the binary releases are completely up to the developer so there you go. Yeah, a little mix. There's a mix, really. I mean, uh, of, mm -hmm. of, of... Opinions out opinions. there. Opinions, yeah. 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 So I'm not sense. surprised. Let's uh, yeah. turn that off. Of course, the cat cam. Yes. And now they're gone. They're gone, yeah, so there's no cats the in the cat cam. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Um, so it is time to play the first game, which is Laser Assault, which is a two-player game. Actually, there's a couple two-player games in here. Oh, cool. So I'll get Excellent. out I like the other that. joystick. Yep. What joystick are you pulling out? Um, well, you have the choice. You can either use this one or this one. Uh, I think I actually prefer that one, but okay. it, it doesn't really matter. This one's clicky, but precise. Yeah. And that one's mushy, but... Mushy. Um, <laughs> I don't find it mushy, but I do, because I, I cross my legs, I find this very awkward oh. on, on, on the couch sometimes. Yeah, so that makes sense. If I, had a, if I had a little... Um, oh, you don't get to hear Atari box. Oh, well. What? Oh yeah, all. Oh. Because we're playing a two. No player. chatting, no, no chatty, Can chatty you hold down the second button? This one, this one. And hopefully, it should work. I can't see it right now. Oh, looks like it worked. Okay, let's switch over to the gaming. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh. that output there we go laser saw and only player one can move laser yes. saw laser laser is oh, I spelt it i spelt it wrong there it's supposed to be an e saw e saw laser e saw two player game it is i believe you are on the top and i'm on the bottom it's not going yet <laughs> no i'm moving it though uh, it kind of lets you move it, but it's it's kind of in demo mode right now. That's fine. Okay. Ready? Is it work? Is it going? Well, let me just read about it a little bit. Actually, here you play it in one player mode, so you okay. can practice. How do I play? Um, press button. Which button? No, doesn't work. Okay. Let me reset it. There you go. Ooh, it's jumpy. Is, was that it saying it's starting? Is there any sound? I don't hear any sound. I was pretty I sure there's sound sure in this. What I'm doing. I have to keep hitting things. You're supposed to kill the guy at the top. I think oh, this is I see. only two player. But, uh, I am going to reset this. I'm very confused. <laughs> Fine. It's tough. One second. sound maybe there's no sound hmm 
I'm going to play it locally on Stella just to make sure things aren't going crazy. Now it's all black and white. Laser assault. I hit something and it turned black and white. Like the aim of the game is to. Uh, Not sure if I'm doing good things or oh, bad no. things. There's no sound. No. No. Okay. No sound. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so we're not going crazy. This is the game. I believe it's only two players, so I'm going to give a little bit of an intro and then we'll get into it. You're supposed to shoot the other guy at the top. What other guy? See the guy that on the bottom. You. Yeah. See the other one at the top, along the rails. That's who you're supposed to shoot. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not supposed to shoot everything in between? No, that's kind of things that get in the way. Oh, really? Laser Assault, 2002, work in progress. I don't think he's going to finish it. Um, by Andrew Wallace, a.k.a. Wally2109. Oh, Militant Buddhist is yelling pew, pew, pew for us. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, please <laughs> yes. fill in the, fill fill, in the, fill in the sound fill effects. Fill in the soundtrack, yeah. First posted, I don't know, because uh, it's really old. Uh, this build is from July 7th, 2002. Uh, the size is 4K. Other games my, made by Andrew Wallace is Denial 77, Laser Assault, and Space Car 78. And you can download this ROM yourself. Um, here it is, my first excursion into the world of Atari 2600 development. This is my warm-up game to get up to speed with the requirements for Atari 2600. What is it? This is my implementation of a game I vaguely remember from my car arcade game playing past about 20 years ago. It's a very simple game. The goal is to shoot the other player. Player 1 is at the bottom, player 2 is at the top. The objects in between are just there to block the shots oh. or hide behind. All the object types uh, except for one have a side effect when shot. Ah, so things change depending on what you're shooting. Uh, after six months, I have finally found some work to work on this again. Most recent addition, energy usage and replenishment. Object side effects when shot. New random function. What works? Two-player game only. Reset to start a game. Color black and white switch. Uh, difficulty switches used to control... Oh, there's driving controller or joystick. Uh, each player can use a different tr controller type. Oh, that's cool. Object can be shot. Objects can be shot. Lose all ships and the game is over. Returns to random play mode, which is what you're in right now. Because I don't think you're actually shooting. Are you shooting? Yeah. Stop pressing. Okay. No, you're, it's still shooting for you. Oh. I think you were thinking you were playing. <laughs> I'm moving it. I mean, that's what's confusing. Uh, I think it lets you move it, but it shoots on its own. Uh, so he wanted to do single player versus computer. He wanted to do sound effects. He wanted a title page, an end page, difficulty settings, and game modes. Mm. But it didn't happen. So let's give this a shot. Okay. And you can have I don't, that. I don't understand, but that's okay. <laughs> well, he didn't give any explanation. So we have to kind of... I have to shoot you. And there are lives at the top and bottom. Yeah, I see that. And I have three and you have three. And these things are kind of just getting in the way right now. But they are thinning out. Ah, ah. you got me. Wait, what? I got you? What? You must have got me. Oh no, or, or or that must it must be counting it on the opposite end. Oh, maybe. What? Did I get you again? I, I got Yeah, because you got reset. It must be. It must be. Pew pew pew. Well, it was a work in progress. Ah, you got me again. Oh, no, I got you. Oh. I got you. Because the lasers kind of linger a bit. I don't know if that has any. Oh, life. Oh, you... now it was all black and white. Yeah. I think you shot it's the something. Question. It's the question marks. That made it black and white? Oh, you can get lives back. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I just shot another question mark. Oh, the uh, batteries give you more power. I don't, it doesn't seem to be shooting as I'm moving. There yes, we go. It is. No, not every time I hit it. You have a power meter. You have to wait for it to uh, build up. Oh, that's what the power meter is that's for. That's what it's I for. I couldn't figure out what that was. Let's get back to color. Yay, color. That 
it's really sad he didn't continue making this game because the it really just needs it's interesting some sound it looks like all the gameplay is all there and i, I may mean, have wanted to make a single player version as well ah uh. but i like the power up where you can't just shoot as much as you want yeah that is good pew 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 <laughs> It's auto shooting for me. Is it? So is mine. Like I'm not shooting. I'm, so is mine. It's it's going to the end and shooting. Oh, weird. That is weird. But I'm controlling it still. You can kind of. Like, is that an option? Did we shoot something know. that makes us auto shoot? Maybe. There's no instructions for this game. Yeah, but I don't seem to be dying. Maybe it's over. Oh, Did you win? that's it. It's over, right? Because you're that's out of lives. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, I'm yeah. out of lives. No. I don't know. You're out of lives. Yeah. Because it was de okay. deleting them from your Reset. side of the screen. <gasps> what happened? You lose lives? Did you shoot something at lot? Yeah. Oh, we both lost a lot of lives. What just happened? I don't understand. Can reset. That's weird. So I'm not going to shoot anything. You shoot something. Well, carefully, not 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 so quick. This makes it black and white. Oh no! It, oh, oh no! It makes it, it crazy. This reverses it. Which one? Oh, the, the, the back arrows. End, yeah. Oh, maybe the question mark is random. Oh, those so it could those do anything. those those ships. Life. That's how you Life. Uh, lose lose ships. Oh, shooting the, the which ships. ones? Which? Depending if they're up or down. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't fully understand. Ooh. See? Yeah. That's I just weird. Just lost a life. I don't know whose lives they are, though. I'm really confused. <laughs> I know. It seems... I can't quite tell... ...to be the wrong ones. Ugh. Oh, it's over. It's over. But who died? I don't know. <laughs> don't hit the guys that look like you. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Call from one, eight, Spammers! Two, four, zero, one, six, two, so which ones... I don't see any that look like me. I see ones Call that look like one, TIE eight, Fighters. Zero, you should probably turn that off. There we go. But the spammers want phone calls. They want to be talked to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they? Oh, and there's... I just shot a, a crosshatch. Well, you're shooting too, so I don't know which one actually. No, I, I don't I don't know if I shot. There's a crosshatch that made them all these things. Oh, I see. Clouds. They're just blocks. Ah. Maybe. Which is maybe sometimes better because then you don't have to worry about I what like you're doing. I like that hitting. idea. I think it's great. It's like uh, it's like a card game where you, you each card does something different. Yeah. Okay. That is definitely you at the bottom. <laughs> Which one? Because I hit you. I hit yes, you again. Yes. Okay. So we must have accidentally done something. I don't before know. Yeah. What well, that was. That was weird. losing us lives. Okay. Carefully. Carefully. The, no, I like things. the question. I like the question marks. They're uh, oh. interesting. They just turned everything black and white. Oh. That slows it down. Oh, it makes everything rumble. One of them. have been such a great game i mean it is but there's no sound which is sad he should finish this would you like to lower your interest on your cards or questions about your extended vehicle warranty yes that's what they're phoning about actually what we get here in british columbia is mostly chinese spam yes. on our phones because we have a very Large. large Chinese population, so they have a very good chance of getting somebody who speaks Chinese. Which, I mean, it's spam anyway. It's yeah. like computer spam, so you hang up anyway, but it's a little bit more easily identifiable. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah I don't know what they're saying. Hang up. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. They're taller, but same shape triangle heads. Oh, oh all lives. Free lives. Get them. I want my lives back. No. Oh, I you got just mine. got one. Yeah. Oh, am I playing again? Oh, you get lives back. That's funny. But I'm not really playing because it's no, because it's auto shooting. Still auto shooting. That's funny. Oh wow, this. Oh, I wish you finished this game. <laughs> it's so cool. It is interesting. Hmm. I don't know if there's any much more we can do with this because there's no. No, it, it, that's kind of it. I mean, yeah. 
there's paddles, but I mean, it doesn't change it much. Mm. Yeah. That's very, very cool. Oh, I wish he finished it. Mm -hmm. So that game was Laser Assault, and I made my own little um, graphic up for it. Mm -hmm. Can't really quite see it. It's blocked out right now. Where's the chat? Okay, let's get on to the second game, which is Gunfight. Cool. Which is also a two-player game. Excellent. <laughs> By Manuel Pollock, a.k.a. Manuel Rockstar, a.k.a. Cybergoth, from Zype. Hold down the second button. Oh, it's over here. And I believe this does have sound. I think shooting the ones that look like you facing the same direction as you is bad, but the other player can shoot them. Yeah, but I'm not... Sh yeah, the other player can shoot them and it doesn't decrease your lives. Yeah, yeah. so... Oh, it would have been so good to have a manual <laughs> with that. But I looked everywhere and I couldn't find a manual yeah. for that. No, you can kind of figure out as you go, though. Yeah. You just need to test each of them out. Ah. Loud! I've turned it up too loud. Nice. Oh, Zype. Oh, actually, before we um, take a look at this, we're going to take nice. a look at the game that it actually uh, came from. Okay. I like the Johnny Cash. <laughs> yes, yeah, Ring of Fire. Yeah. Because this originally was an arcade game. Okay. So we're going to take a quick look at the arcade game that it came from. Which is uh, not that one. Space app. That's way down. Uh, there we go. Gunfight in the arcade. I'll switch over to this. Okay, so let's take a look at um, our, the arcade version of Gunfight, 1975 by Midway. Nice. Yeah, it's a really, really old game. Really Nin rudimentary game. 1975. 75. That's old school. Gunfight known as Western Gun oh. in Japan. Oh. I'm turn that up so you guys can hear it too. Oh! Exploding your ears. I apologize. Sorry for headphone users. Um, it was the very first video game to depict human-to-human -human combat. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. That's uh, really interesting. Following its November 1975 release in North America, went on to sell over 8,000 arcade cabinets in the United States. And it was ported to the Bally Astrocade video game console. Mm. And in 1977, as well as several home computers theme of the game involves two old west cowboys armed with revolvers and squaring off in a duel okay it's <laughs> enough of the sound yeah it's enough of the sound um <laughs> uh whoever shoots the other cowboy first wins the duel unlike in real life duel however um both cowboys get numerous opportunities to duel in order to score points one point per successful draw. Gotcha. The game was included in Game Spies Hall of Fame in 2002. Okay, let's go back to us. Oh no. That's not what I meant to do. There we <laughs> go. And freaking me out with the sound going in one ear. Yeah, somebody recorded it very stereo. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Or you mean mono? Uh, no, it was actually in, like one thing was on in one oh, year, one really? was in the other. Oh, that's interesting. For the uh, for the arcade game. Yeah. Okay, so let's play this one. And I believe it's set to two player at the moment. We're just gonna play one game, and then I then we will. Are you playing? No. Oh, you're not. Oh no, it's got. Or 
playing okay. a variation. And then I'll read the instructions. I mean, it's not too hard. It's mostly it'll be about the variations, what? What I think. What is that? Can you move? Oh, I have to sh What? Oh, weird. I was having trouble shooting. Uh, you can't shoot if you're not moving. No, but it was... Yeah, anyway, that was kind of weird. Yeah, if you don't move, you can't shoot. Oh, you got me. Oh. I ran into it, actually. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. ooh. You shot my hat off. Did I? Yep. Nice. Oh. Oh, angles. I don't know how that works. They, like, bounce. They're like bouncy <laughs> balls. Ah, uh, bouncing bullets. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, got your hat. Did you? And oh, gotcha. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get it to Three bounce. Points. You have to go on an angle. Ah! Got your hat already. Ah! <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> I can't get mine to bounce. You have to walk in an angle. No, but oh yeah, I guess that's true. Also, you... Oh, I got your hat. Oh, boy. Oh! oh. <laughs> Woohoo! That's one for me. <laughs> now you know how to do angles. I like the angles. Yeah, they're a lot more unpredictable, that's for yeah. sure. Oh, you can do two shots at once. Yeah, I was... Ah! I was oh, like, my that's... shot! That's a lot more hard... A lot harder to <laughs> diagonal <laughs> should rebound shots work best ice. Yeah, says, yeah, yes, for sure. That is for sure. Oh, ow. Ah, oh, got my hat. Can you walk across? No, you can't walk across. Limit. Ah, you got me. Four to two. <laughs> I don't know what it goes up to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I walked right into two. it. Uh -huh. Ten? That's a lot. Ooh, uh -huh. Oh, you, oh, got, my you hat. got me too. Oh, Six. I walked into that one too. Ooh, it's close. your bullets are far enough to go across the screen, bounce, and then come back completely within where you're walking, where you can walk. It's funny. It's like the, the magic bullet oh, episode of Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, yes, you right. got me. Okay, we're going to go back to single player, okay. and I'm going to read the instructions. Oh, okay. Single player is on yours? Yeah. Okay. What? what? Ah, ah! Stage coach. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> What's going on? There is sound. You had it turned down. Oh my god, sorry. So I had it muted. Ah. Just a comedy of errors today. <laughs> Mostly not my fault, but that one was. There is sound. Are those supposed to be people running through? I think they might have been arrows or. Well, they look like trees, like we're running along, but. Yeah, uh... I mean, this is obviously a. Oh, you're destroying me. Oh, the stagecoach. The stagecoach is getting just demolished. Oh, my Poor goodness. stagecoach. Okay, let's read the instructions here. Woo, finally. Got him. It's not going to be a stagecoach left. Uh, it's shootout time, and you've got to be faster than your opponent or the computer. Move, dodge, or hide behind a covered wagon or cactus. Whatever you do, don't waste your time, because your opponent is shooting back. Take your position. Aim and fire before he gets you. Pew, pew, pew. There's that sweet pew pew RC70 <laughs> says. Uh, yep. Okay, using the controller. Yes, we figured that out. Uh, so it's one human be or versus one human or human versus computer controlled cowboy. Uh, I think we figured out. Screen is divided into two parts: upper status area and game area. Um, three sections, an obstacle area in the middle, and the cowboy zones on either side of it. On the status area, you find three pairs of digit icons, and normally from left to right, two digits score for the left, an icon symbolizing the current play mode, which is two guns, right now, 
icon symbolizing the computer controlled cowboys on or off. So it's the Atari symbol is the computer. And the two digits score for the right cowboy. Oh, defeat it. Excellent. So let's make a different variation. Uh, there's six bullets. Try that one. That one that we does... played before. No, not the six bullet. Six or is it? Bullet? No, this is what we okay. played before, yeah. With the two players. Uh, let's try that. Cactuses. I don't know what that arrow is, but we'll see. Configuration. Left difficulty switch uh, position A, the speed of the bullets is doubled. Okay, we're on slow. What you're competing going? against and you're competing against a slightly smarter computer. So this is the So this is the easy computer. Okay. And you did defeat him last time. So we're gonna go with the hard computer now. This is hard? Yep. Oh what? Left A, the speed of the bullets doubled. What's going on? The games are changing. Weird. Are my difficulty switches backwards? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Remember the uh, keeps spider running into my bullets. Spider fighter was backwards, and this is saying it's backwards. This looks this looks way easier. He runs into the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> He's just just woof right in there. Yeah, the bolts are faster. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to do some investigation. Did you uh, uh, clean anything on the motherboard for the... No, I'd have to flip <laughs> something around. But weren't, weren't you resoldering something? Oh, not that. No. Okay. No, no, no. And the spider Just fighter was before I did that. <laughs> it was before I did that. So. This guy's not even shooting at me. Uh, switch to position E, position e for a simpler game. He's not? No. <laughs> but he was just firing at you. He's not shooting at all. Oh my goodness. Do you see see the arrow? I think the arrow might be shooting in one direction only. Oh, okay. Because that seems... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Target. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, there, that makes more sense. The right difficulty switches the in artificial intelligence on or off can be done on the fly. When you're playing against the AI, the Atari symbol is displayed on the status line. Switch it to B. Okay, we got that one. Yeah, we figured that out. Uh, the color, black and white, position enables horizontal uh, bouncing. Black and white disables it. Bouncing is fun. Oh, bouncing is fun. Less it, realistic, it definitely but makes, fun. It definitely makes it... I was going to say, like, this bouncing bullet thing is, is quite interesting. It is confusing, but you can play the game over title screen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Uh, choosing a variation. There's four games. Standard, Six Shooter, Escape, and Score. Okay. Um, press the game select to choose the desired game variation. Uh, let's see if it uh, explains them. Uh, there's eight different scenarios available in Gunfight. The Zype logo, Cacti 1, Stagecoach, and Saloon. <sighs> For non-shootables, Arrows 1, which we've seen, Rocks, which is I'm guessing what this is, Arrows 2, and Cacti 2. Press Game Reset to switch from one scenario to the next. Oh, okay, so you can fill, go through them by just pressing Reset. This is the title screen, I think. Are you still playing? Oh, you're still this, playing. It started over. It's a different game, but it's... it's... Your score is all crazy. It's like 11 to 6, 12 to 6, 7, 8. Weird. I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't matter. It's fun. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. <laughs> Controlling your cowboy. Six. Oh, here they are. Standard. Two cowboys are directly dueling each other. First to down the other player seven times wins. Seven times? Six shooter. Uh, that's not what you... Oh, score. The one you're playing is score. In this variant, destroying a part of the obstacle gains the cowboy one point. Oh. And downing his competitor gains five points. So you get more for downing the competitor. That makes sense. Yeah, but you can get oh. small ones by just eating away. First of 42 wins. So you can get rack up quite the score by just shooting the stage coach. Like, he, he could not... Ah. Oh, he got you. Ooh. Uh, es oh, escape. The left cowboy tries to knock out the right one who's totally defenseless. That's why he wasn't firing back at you. 
Oh. The left cowboy only needs to down your opponent once to win. The right, right cowboy who wins if he survives until the counter expires. Okay. Oh, what is this? It's a big rock? Yeah, big house Can't you just win by just firing constantly yeah, at Yeah, look it? at my score. Wow. I mean, you're dying. And you just got five points. You're almost there. One more. That one's not great because no, you just you fire just against the rock. This one is more challenging because you don't get points for shooting things. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you so have you to have to kill him. Mm -hmm. you have to yeah. No, you still on. get five points. Then. One version runs out of bullets. You need to pick up more. Oh, really? Uh, I haven't seen that oh, one. Oh, there yet. it is. Six shooter. Same as the standard variant, except after six shots, you need the more cowboy bullets. needs to reload their guns. In order to do so, they should quickly pick up the ammunition box that is thrown into the scene whenever a cowboy needs to reload. Oh, we haven't tried that yet. Okay, back to two-player. Six-shooter? Um, yeah, we'll do the six-shooter because we played the first variation already. Mm -hmm. you want this one? Or... Oh, sure. Can I run up and get a glass one? Okay, I'll you play can against set it up? the... Uh... Yeah, try the six-shooter one. I'll, I'll play against the computer. The six-shooter. Okay, here we go. So I only have six bullets. I need to reload. Oh, I killed him. Don't even need to reload. Killed him before I got six bullets. Ha 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 ha. made... Oh, there. So he ran out there. Now he needs to pick that up. Because it's not on my side. Because I can't even make... There we go. That's cool. That's awesome. What a cool variant. Wow, what a cool game. Still ahead of him. Four to one. Uh, this is the six shooter? Yep. Six shooter. It's very, very, very cool. Have you seen very... Oh! There it is. He gotcha. ran out of bullets. You need to pick up some more. Oh! Hey! I'm out of bullets! Where's my pickup? Oh my god! Is it hidden? Oh, no, I have them. What the hell? I must have found it. I don't know. Oh, oh there. Maybe you just ran right over it then. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ready? Hmm. Oh, I thought I reset it. There we go. Okay, we're on the six shooter. <laughs> so you kind of get two health bars. One, I shoot off your hat, and then the next one you die. Yeah, you, 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 it's basically two shots. The bouncing is something else. <laughs> it it's like I, I run into these things. It's crazy. Ah, oh. I stopped moving. Or maybe you hit me. Blaming the joystick again. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm having trouble now. I was doing better I kill before. You too quick. No, I'm, I, you know what it is? It's because you have to move, so I stop to shoot, and I get one shot off. You can't stop to you shoot. You can't shot, stop to shoot. Gotta be moving, shooting on the run. Ah! Jeez. I'm glad they don't shoot indefinitely, though. Uh, yeah. Gives you a little bit of okay. a breather. I can't, it wouldn't let me get it. That's really? weird. Yeah. You're over that far. You just never, you didn't go over that far let, before. Uh, no, it wasn't letting me walk that far over. That's so weird. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stood there trying to get it before you shot me, so that was very strange. your hat oh uh, no there's something with the joystick it is it is um yeah yeah mm. i'm getting what is happening it's it's getting stiff it's like i i Can't shifting it? and it's not moving up and down is it certain directions or all directions yeah see it just paused again when i tried to go right unless maybe i'm just I was just I was just using it. It was fine. 
<laughs> see, I'm not moving. Did you see that? No, I, I can't, can't see that. Yeah, no, there's something wrong with the joystick. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is happening. I should probably hit the right button. Looking good to me so far. No pausing. I mean, it does pause when you um, shoot. No, but I, 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 uh, I tried to move. Oh, oh, and it, See, oh. see, see? What am I telling you? Okay, don't do anything. Yeah. Something, I think see. it's buggy. The game? It, but we it? were playing this before without problem. Like, uh, I was this, playing this using... Variation. Oh, the six shoot, the six, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, um, because it happened as soon as my, uh, the ammunition came on the screen. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened last time, too. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. there's a bug in it. My side works fine, but player two is not working well. When the, when the ammunition Aww, comes on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, different variation then. See, he, he's, he's blaming me. He's <laughs> blaming me the whole time. And it, it mostly was her fault. Yeah, no. Okay, close. so I have to avoid you. I have to shoot you and you have to avoid me. I have to avoid my bullets for 97 seconds. I'm not. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm like, why am I shooting then? 97 seconds? Yes. Okay. That's a lot of seconds. It is. That is a lot of seconds. Of course, you have a house now. I'm behind. I kind of. Ah! <laughs> oh. Easier said than done. I, I feel like I should be able to get closer to the house. <laughs> I get ya. I get what you're trying to do. <laughs> Oh, this one's a lot harder when it's a little bit, you have something to hide behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh, how many seconds did you have left? Oh, I don't know, a lot. Okay. It's a lot of seconds. This it's a lot of seconds. That's a lot of seconds to try and hide. Yeah. This one's going to be a little harder for you. <laughs> you have to keep on running. only get two bullets off at a time. Oh, got uh -huh. me. Okay. Let's switch and see if I can avoid your bullets for 97 seconds. Oh. oh come on. Angles, man. Angles. I keep thinking they're gonna come back and hit me, but they actually stop <laughs> halfway across the screen. They're impossible to come back and hit you. I know. Barely moving. Come on, get me. Come on. <laughs> the problem is, is you can't move fast enough to move up. <laughs> Such slow this bullets. This is the closest I can get. Slow bullets. They are slow. They feel like they should be a lot more faster. You can only shoot two at a time. <laughs> That's right. You should be able to shoot a lot more. I'm moving. I can make you move. Make me dance. I wish I could 
get closer to you. <laughs> and then I just run up to you Ten and seconds. shoot you in the head, so. That's right. No, it's not open. There's a barrier there. Oh! <laughs> oh! <sighs> ah, that was awesome! Or do you like that one? Mm. So this one is the first of 42. I wouldn't do that. That's a very bad idea. Put it on the floor. That's bad. Oh, it's been there for like the last 10 minutes. Well, don't do that. <laughs> That's not a good idea. It's far more likely on the floor that I'm going to knock it over. Well, I'd rather that. Is this... Oh, it is shooting like that. First to 42 points. Is it? Yep. You get five for killing the other person. Oh, I got my hat. Ah! Yes. I think, yeah, yeah. It's 42. Oh. Two more points. Yeah, I think you've got me. <laughs> One, come on. One, two. I like how it's auto death. It's like just boom. Right down. Just dead. This one is. Oof. Oh, got oh, my hat. Oh, got my hat too. <laughs> ah. Uh. I'm trying to hit the angles, but I'm, I'm having trouble. There we go. The angles. Ah, ha, ha, you got my hat. It's in the westerns, they always shoot the other guy's hat off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I so think it's great. It's funny. really cute. I think that's really cute, I have to say. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Militant Buddha says, dance for me! Dance! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my hat! Ah! Got my hat. Ah! Ha, ha, from behind! Oh. Those bouncing bullets. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep keep wary of all the bullets that are going all over the place. Oh. Kicking my butt this time. My wrists are getting sore. Oh. -ho -ho. <laughs> Death. My wrists are getting sore. Sorry. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll switch to another game. Yeah, then. yeah. We can keep playing. I just need it. Well, we did all the variations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good, fun it's game. It's intense. It's good times. Yes. So that one has a lot of variation, and mm -hmm. the, and the uh, computer's pretty good too. Like it puts up a challenge when you're fighting yeah, the computer. Actually, it's really fun just to play against the computer. You don't need the two people. So. Thank you. Let's put in the oh. Atari box so people can hear the. Lovely sounds of it, mm -hmm. even though none of these games are using it, but they haven't heard it in a while on the show. Got it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so the next game is Jammed, and I picked this one specifically for you. Oh. So go download it up, because it is a puzzle game. And I know you like puzzle games. I do. And this one is made by Thomas Yentz. Oh, cool. You said this from is an early one. Yes. And here we go. Oh, this is this is um <laughs> very classic type of puzzle. You have six moves left. Oh, I see. You only have a certain amount of moves. Oh no. Hmm, I, I need to be thoughtful about these things yes. then. Oh, I hate that. First posted back around 2001, February, this is the Stella mailing list. Uh, this build is also came out in 2001. Other games from Thomas Yentz, Star Castle Arcade, Toy Shop Trouble, Toy Shop Trouble, Boulder Dash, game in question before, Swoops Mini Game Collection, uh, Jammed, Starfire, The Stacks, and a ton of trackball hacks, Ram Pong, Robot City. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. In, in the amount? Yeah. Zero, just in time. Uh, Ram Pong, uh, Robot City, and 3S. Uh, and this is available at Atari Age and Pack Rat for $20. If you enjoy it. So it says you can't move that one. Oh, no, you yeah, because you have to push it from the end. Yes. Do I want to? 
the better version of Crazy Valet, Arena Foot says. So yeah, I, I bet there's a number of games like this. I don't know if we played Crazy Valet on the show yet. Don't know. Yeah, I think you're doing the right thing there. Yep. And you got it. The number counts moves of counts blocks moving, mm. not number of moves. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no. Yeah, you yeah. Can, for it's sure. like a full slide is one move. So Jam is Jammed is based on the board game Rush Hour, created for the Atari 2600 by Thomas Yentz. In this version, you must steal the car of your dreams from a crowded parking <laughs> lot, but you first must move all the cars that stand in your way. So those are other cars. Mm. Jammed features 600 unique levels. <laughs> Jeez. Can you solve all of them in the minimum number of moves? 600 in 4K. Wow. That is some data packing. And it's got the obnoxious mm -hmm. car horn when you drive off. Includes cartridge and eight page full color manual. Uh, author Thomas Yentz. Number of players, one. Label design, design Dale Crum. And mm -hmm. let's read the instructions. Not going to get it this time. No? Failed. <sighs> oh, you, you, you keep playing. Hmm. I think it resets though. No. No. Oh. And maybe that's the the ideal number oh, of moves. Oh. Okay. Oh. I. Th yeah. You get points. Yeah. For every one you get below zero, I think, because you have three points right now. It was love on first sight. Barely twenty years ago, she stood in the crowd, drawing all the looks in her breathtaking yellow designer dress. From that moment, you didn't care for any other. You just had eyes for her. You just knew she would be yours soon. But you still can't afford her, so you will simply take her tonight. Silently, you sneak into her room. Cautiously open the door. Then you see that you see her, that sleek Italian. You'll brush aside everything that stands between you and her, and you will flee with her. With this dream of a used sports car. <laughs> Move all the cars out of the way. I'll just way to steal the dream of your car out of the lot. Uh, oh, Jam consists of 600 puzzles, which are organized in six difficulty levels of 100 puzzles each. So there's actually only 100 puzzles, but Jeez. different difficulty of levels, but still 100. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, with, the move, with the joystick, you can move your cursor, and the fire button moves the selected car in the indicated direction. Reset. Restarts puzzle. Oh, no, that's the level right there. That's level four. Is it? Yeah. I believe. Let's see. Uh, the counter on the left hand displays the number of moves. It starts with the minimal number of moves required in the negative and increases. If if the level ends with the counter displaying zero, the puzzle is solved perfectly. Yeah, so I solved it the first two perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Um, the counter on the right <laughs> indicates the current puzzle. Okay. The first digit also signifies the level difficulty. So you're on level zero difficulty, puzzle five. Uh, Jammed is based on the board game Rush Hour from Binary Arts. So reset, restarts the puzzle, select, selects the level, fire and select, selects random puzzle on the current level. Uh, left difficulty, cursor mode, right difficulty, switch between NTSC and PAL settings. I'm guessing we're on NTSC. Uh, doesn't say which one is which in the uh, manual. Left difficulty is cursor mode. Guess there's a different type of mode. Maybe you select the car and then move it with the joystick. Is the other mode. That makes sense. You want to try the other way? Or do you want to keep it on this method of moving things? So no, you didn't do that right. No, I, I probably had an extra move in there. So there's level 5. Press a button. No, it still advances you. Yeah, you okay. don't, it doesn't stop you. I think what's, as long as you solve it, you advance. Okay. But your points are, like, like ideally, I would do this in eight moves. I might do it in more than one. I might make right. a wrong move and have to go back on it, right? Right. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty straightforward game. Imagine you want to play? Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's, I mean, we're not going to do 100 hard. levels. It's not hard in the sense, 
It's like those it's like those little wooden puzzles that your grandmother always had at their house where you <laughs> slide blocks you around. slide blocks around or um, sometimes you had to build a picture, you know what I mean? <laughs> Did I mess up <laughs> already? You just have to move that bottom one. There you go. Um, I didn't. Did I do it in no, zero? No, you did it in Oh, you did, did it, it with one, one extra. Because the car is extra. a move. Yeah, but that's close. pretty close. I think I just made a mistake. I moved the car when I shouldn't have. Yeah, maybe. So I got to get that one up there. Basically. So that means I need to move that one left. That means I need I to move to that move one left. those two down. Yeah. Means those two down, which means I need to move the car out of the way. And, and I need, need to, to move, move that, that one. Yeah. One. That one over two. The car over one. These down two. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, I have to. Then I'm these over. And then I'm screwed. I... No, you're not screwed. Up one more. There you go. Well, one. Yeah, so you there was a way to do it with one uh, last move. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't... It, you get it out, you get it out. You yeah. Know? It just takes... need to move that up one. Yeah. Means I may, need to move that one over, which means I need to move that one down, which means I need to move that one over. So I need to go up. Down. Oh, no. Not enough. Not as no. You can move the bottom one down. That one. Yeah, and move the other one over. And then that that one down. Yeah, I, I did it. That's okay. I did it almost Plus right. Plus one, almost a hundred percent. You know, <laughs> That's, there's probably that means one I move failed. you did that you didn't need to do. You didn't fail. Because I moved, I moved one twice. I moved one of the blocks yeah. twice when I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. Uh, I need to move this. I can't move it up. I need to move it down. Yeah, but you might that. need to move... Oh, no, yeah, that's going to cause... That means I need to move this one all the way to the right. Which, which means, means I need to move this one all the way up there. Which you can't do without moving it up, so... Which you... I can't do without moving that one over, so I have to move this one up first. Yeah, and then move that over. All the way? No. Yes. Yes. I'm not sure it matters. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Because it only counts as one move. You need to move that, so you just oh. do an extra move because. Oh. Or maybe not. I maybe not. So. Maybe not. No, no, no. Maybe not. Now I need to move this one over. But I don't. Yeah. I mean, I'll solve it, but. I, I, yeah, I think you, there are probably moves you should have done. But... <laughs> yeah. okay. Oh, there definitely was. Did it in one yeah, again? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, pretty good. See, there was one I didn't need to move twice. Just once. Well, literally, there's only one block I can move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that makes it easy. Now there's still literally only one block I can move. Mm -hmm. Now should I move it once or twice? Hmm. Twice, because you have to move those other two down. You have to move Both them of? down. Yes. Ye so you're going to have to yes. move the car forward as well. And then move those down. Both of them down. Yeah. Because you can't move that other one up. Without moving this one yeah. and the other one. But I think you might have done it perfectly. I think I did. Yay, finally! Yay, zero! <laughs> Definitely not the most action-packed <laughs> game to no. watch. Puzzle games are pretty... You do one more and then one we'll more? move on. Oh, okay, you're making it hard. Uh, <laughs> level nine. Level 11. Level 9. Okay, well... Nine moves. Because if you kind of move work backwards, that's kind of an easy way to do it. Yeah. 
definitely all the way down, and then yeah. you only have to deal with the top ones. Yeah, it's not that. Zero. Yeah. So I guess zero is the you you actually hear that horn from time to time. Yeah, yeah, in, I wouldn't be surprised. Texas? Oh my god. <laughs> I wouldn't be That's surprised. That's brutal. <laughs> Oh, if it's once in a I while, it's kind I of funny. I can't say you hear a lot of themed horns in, in Vancouver, British Columbia. It's not really... No. No. Not it a was lot a of, time. Not maybe a lot of custom cars or... Mid-90s, yeah, you would hear maybe. specialized car alarms that would talk. Oh, yeah. And horns that would make some sound, but then it just died out, and everybody has the exact same car alarm now. Because it's well, the cheapest yeah. one. And they're built into cars. Well, they're built into cars. So I you mean, don't, you don't need to buy aftermarket. You, yeah, exactly. There's no, there's almost no aftermarket in cars now. Nobody gets big stereos. Hardly anybody. Yeah, that's pretty And rare. nobody gets car alarm aftermarket because it's built in. Yeah. Nobody gets true. crazy horns. Yeah. Because nobody cares. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess, I'm sure there is a, a select group there of people. There is a market, but it's not that, that live common. not downtown. Yeah. Somewhere out. Yeah. yeah that's true. Uh... There's a Jeep in my area painted like the General Lee. It is, it, it bet it has the horn, but I've never heard it. Oh, jeez. You just have to get, make him Lucky mad. Gotcha. Make him mad, get in his way, and then he'll honk his funny horn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably have the Dixie horn and not La Cucaracha, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be funny. Instead of Yeehaw, it would be Arriba. <laughs> my truck has a secondary horn. Semi truck. Oh, I always wanted that when I was younger. To the install, honk, honk. Uh, yeah. like you have to have a special battery, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it would yeah. drain your battery because it's true. like an air horn, yeah. Because <laughs> my dad sold trucks, so it was like, Oh, can we put a, a horn in my car? And he's like, Well, you have to do a lot of work to do that, yeah. Because <laughs> trucks have huge batteries, and yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so on to number three, number four, game number four already, <laughs> Vault Assault. Ready? Hold it down. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. This oh, one is from 2001 that? as well. Oh, wrong one. Wrong area. Vault Assault. These are all way back in the day, these games. <laughs> Seem a little simpler, right. eh? Uh, this is by Brian Prescott, uh, 2001, size is 4K. Um, yeah, they're, some of these old games are not made perfectly, so there's going to be <laughs> flickering and stuff. Oh, that's okay. And some of them, yeah. at least when you start off. Um, I, I test them all before we put them on the show. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they're at least playable. Ready? There we go. So shoot everything. Shoot, shoot. There you go. Now oh, that's I how see. you play the game. Um, so other games by Brian Crescott, Cres, Prescott is Crazy Valet, uh, which is kind of funny that the last game was the good version of Crazy Valet. Oh, I see. <laughs> that, uh, Arena Foot said, um, they made Crazy Valet and Vault Assault, uh, and this is still available at Atari Age and Good Deal Games. So some three out of four of these are still available. Yes. All three of the last ones are still available. Um, where is my, there we go. Based on the arcade game Space Zap. Oh, I was going to play the uh, video first. The arcade game. We'll play that stop? in a second. Um, yeah. So let's stop. Just don't do anything. There we go. So, I'm so gonna... that's what happens when you die. That's right. <laughs> Explosions. We'll soon run out of lives. So let me... Load up the arcade game to show everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's Space Zap, 1980. And I'll make sure there's some sound. If there is sound, oh yeah, there is. As soon as he starts playing the game. Um, so this is from 1980 by Bally Midway is a space themed reflex at arcade game uh, developed by Gamatron licensed to Bally Midway or Bally Midway? Bally. Bally? Bally. That's all have I heard. Uh, space Zap shipped in three form factors, Mini Might, Cocktail and Standard Upright Cabinet. Um, an official port of Space Zap for the Bally Astrocade was released in 1981, obviously, because 
Oh, there we go. Uh, Cosmic Arc, published by Imagic in 1982 for Atari 2600, started out as a clone of Space Zap. Uh, in the final game, in the first part is of each level is Space Zap, uh, played with an Atari joystick. But the second a sequence was added to keep it from being repetitive. Mm. Yes, I remember playing... Uh, <laughs> I remember playing Cosmic Arc and loving the first part of the game. So this is where the first part of Cars Cosmic Arc um, came Comes from. from. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but they added a second one where you go down and rescue little guys from a planet in Cosmic Arc. Well, in this one they shoot. Okay. In the game where oh, and there's like random ones that move around, so yeah. it's not quite so that's, a perfect that's, port. That's how it. Um... Well, I don't know. Maybe there are random Maybe there ones are. I haven't played it very long. That yet, so. Cause I played it very shortly, but yeah, they shoot in this one, and the and then the port. It, I they believe they balls. move towards you. Yeah, they become they become the shot. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, wow. We'll see if that guy comes. But I played it very shortly, and I didn't see that UFO guy moving around. Yeah. That could have been easily done. So I think somebody could improve on this port. But uh, oh, we'll, have to play we'll have to play it. We'll yeah, see. Yeah. I haven't played it too much. Bally Astrocade uses the same sound chip. Uh, Militant Boot says, love this game. First one was black and white as well. Oh. Uh, we'll call it Magic Carpet Shooter. Nice text font. 80s futuristic. Yes, very cool. Okay, so let's move back to the game now. Okay, there you go. Me? You don't see want to if play? the button works. Nope, doesn't. Old school. Old to reach school. Over to the game reset. You have to start training the cats. I know. Come on, kitty. Put a little treat on <laughs> the game reset. Train the cats. <laughs> uh, so there was. Let's see. So I found some information on the um, Stella mailing list. And it's from Brian Prescott from July 31st, 2001. He said, I will be at CGE and I'll be debuting the game I've been working on for the past several months uh, called Vault Assault. It's pretty much finished. I'm just doing some gameplay fine tuning. And then um, on August 14th, 2002, uh, Alba DiRusso posted about the next year's CGE. Um, saying that uh, he listed a whole bunch of games that he was selling and he sold let's see Vault Assault, Cart and Manual 18 copies, sold out so did very well mm. at the 2002 CGE <laughs> Classic Gaming Expo Where said, is that? Is that in Austin? Uh, I don't know He said I just got back from my long drive I left yesterday around 10 a.m. and got back here in Austin, where he lives. Oh, he lives in Austin. At 9 p.m. So he drove for 11 hours from wherever CGE is. Anybody? Central. Used to be in Las Vegas. Gotcha. Oh, that would be really fun. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good excuse to go to Las Vegas. Does this still happen? Was in Vegas. Yeah. Used to be. Where is it now, everybody? Yeah. People of the audience. Oh, CG was in Vegas back in 2000. Gotcha. Now this is 2002 he's talking about. I see no It's nowhere. Ships. It's gone. Yeah, well, that's a <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. There's other ones. There's lots of other uh, retro. Oh, he got me. Uh, retro gaming. Uh, the biggest one being Portland. One of the biggest. Well, Portland, and I think there is one in, is it Austin or Texas somewhere? There is another one in, in uh, Austin that we want to go to as well. Well, eventually, because we have eventually. never been to Texas. No, so it's a very Texas. good excuse. Um, there's a SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, I think. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we... Um, that just happened. Just, I Oh, believe. it happens in the spring? Yeah. And there's one in Vancouver that is happening next month. Next month? Oh, yeah, May. Yeah, May. And it's not big, but it's... Ah. I would say it's a large, small. <laughs> Like, bit, it's small, but on the bigger end of small. It's getting bigger each year. Oh, you're done? Nope, almost. Last line. So there's not much to this game. 
<laughs> it is pure reflex. I didn't bother ah. finding instructions because there's yeah, nothing. It's like pure you, reflex. You just shoot. Okay, there we so go. you got 16. 16, 670. 16, 6, 70 yeah. arena foot, if you could type I, that in. I do like reflex games like this, where you just kind of get in your zen mode. And, CG and was originally ran by uh, oh, Joe, Joe Santulli. Santulli. We met Joe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And Sean Kelly. Did we mean Sean Kelly? No, we didn't. I don't John I Hardy. Joe. I think yeah. we met John Hardy. Okay. Okay. I'm oh. It's easy in the beginning. <laughs> yes. It's Very nice. Slow. It is a reflex game. Yeah, it's yeah. four directions. Yeah. Yeah, there is no floaty ship that goes around. It no. definitely just keeps amping up the speed as far as the reflex. But no, it's fun. It's relaxing. Mm -hmm. Relaxing and stressful at the same time. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Waiting. Waiting. Very random. Random in the timings. Mm -hmm. When they come and when they don't come. Big anticipation. <laughs> Big gap. Big gap. Yeah, throws you off. It does for a bit. I mean, it makes oh, sense. You coming? want it to be kind of random. It's coming? Continuous. Oh my god. Really long pauses. You're sometimes. still in the pink, the pink. I think oh it, it goes from pink to purple to green to mm. yellow, something like that. Does it tell you how many more you have to go? No. Has one, there's a one on the bottom and then a two? You, you're, I know you that have lives. two lives, I think. Two additional lives. Yeah. The one is level one, I think. Oh, level one. Yeah. So I, I'm guessing you have to reach a certain score? And it ramps up. You're about to hit 5,000. Yeah. And if you the get color changes. No, it's still pink. Higher score based on how quickly you shoot them? I don't know. 5,300. No, it's 100 points. No, I don't know. 100 points. So I've shot 55 of them then. Yeah, 100 points. You got 1660 something? 16,670. Come on. Still pink. Did yours last this long? In the I thought mine was quick, but maybe not. Level? Maybe the pink level lasted a while. But at some point they become purple. Mm hmm. That's weird. You didn't change the setting, did you? Nope. Just reset it. Actually, you reset it, didn't you? No. No. You reset it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall reaching over. Oh, now see, now you're getting more at once. So they do, they do ramp up. But they do change color at some point. Mm -hmm. it, it is getting harder. There's more popping up, but... Yeah. yeah. It's not as long as pauses, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you haven't even had one bomb you yet. No, I'm too quick. <laughs> Now you're at 10,000. You would think it would get start ramping up. Mm hmm. Anything in the chat? They were just, uh, Frisco down the road, militant Buddhist was saying. Yeah, what are the big expos in North America? Besides the one we SoCal Retro Gaming Expo Portland, there must one be one on the Austin. East Coast somewhere. Oh, I'm sure there's a couple in New York. I'm, I'm sure in well, that area. Well, in that area, I'm sure the East Coast. There's got to be something. It's really slow. Why is it so slow? <laughs> Mine was not this slow. It felt like hmm. maybe it ramps up. Something's weird. <laughs> I feel like it should have leveled up by now. They should be going a lot faster. Maybe it does right at the end. No, I played this briefly and it did ramp up quicker than this. That's weird. I feel like you're on easy level somehow. Yeah. 
Like, you're almost at my score, and yet mine were yellow and going really fast. I want it to be faster. <laughs> Maybe on, a, on the easy level? But how, how did you end up on easy level? You didn't change anything, did you? No. It's so slow. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my on? god. I couldn't seem... find a manual. Does anybody have a manual? <laughs> it doesn't seem fair. Arena foot? Is there a manual? <laughs> Help me, arena foot. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost at yours, and you... It was going fast! Everything's set to default right now. So on color, Yeah, but B, you didn't B. change it when you, no. when you restarted. I didn't. That's super weird. Why is it still pink? Is it because you're getting them faster than I was? I don't know. I'll let oh, them... see, now you have two. They're not even coming at me. There you go. I don't think this should make any difference. Oh, you get barely any points for that. For shooting them while they, when they come at you. That's so weird. Oh, Renafoot's looking. Maybe this is a glitch. It could be. But it's hard to tell when the glitch is occurring because if you reset it's just going to go back to pink and slow. See, you just beat my score and and you're not going nearly as fast as I was going. Arena Foot, Hag in Houston, PRGE in Portland, FPF in Orlando, CGF in Austin, Texas. Hmm. East Coast. Houston. I think I've heard of Yeah, Houston as well. Houston Gaming Orlando. Expo. Interesting. Oh, that's East Coast-ish. Yeah. South, south, south. Again, good excuse to go to Florida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all about going to the nice okay. places. We're going to do something. Something weird is going on there. There's no different uh, game variations. I guess there's... You're still going. I know. So let's just reset, I guess. Mm. Hopefully this will be harder. <laughs> Yeah, there's no game variations. Weird. This is faster. Game levels one through nine. Yeah, I never got a level one. It must have been a glitch. Yeah. Game levels one through nine. I mean, you stayed at level one the whole way through. Yeah. Oh, level two. It was a glitch. Now you're at le level two. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Yeah. I was like, mine was really fast by the end. Some randomization that just yeah. never happened. Funny. Yeah, really yeah, weird. Just well, at least I'm playing properly now. Yeah. Yeah, still get the same amount of points. Level three. Oh, three already. Wow. Yeah. So yours was progressing this quickly too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now you're four. blue, now you're at four. Yeah, that, I was just stuck on level one forever. Which was slow and boring. Well that's the thing, it takes a long time and then it doesn't get that much it didn't get any harder. No. Did you switch one of the switches though? I I played with all of them this time, but they're all yeah. still set to exactly what they were before. See, now it's getting harder. It's getting faster. Yeah, it's getting, well, you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit more. A little bit more active. Concentration and, yeah. Green. Seven. So, Arena Foot says nine. nine levels. What's that noise? Oh, it's your laptop. Oh, man. So I guess yellow is not level nine. Oh, you made it to uh, yellow? Yeah. Okay. And then it maxes out. And yeah. Then it just gets and then it's just super fast. <laughs> just faster and faster. Just, yeah, there you go. Now, Whoa, level now they're, nine. they're almost moving Im immediately. Yeah, they are pretty much. They definitely get harder. But you still haven't lost a life, so yeah. you're going to beat me. Oh, oh. thanks. <laughs> That's why I say it. 
or even if it's saying the manual does not say what the difference is between the nine game uh, variations. There's I nine think it's game just, variations. No, well, nine I think levels. it's nine levels. I think it's just they speed up as you go. Oh, you beat me. <laughs> but it does get hard once you hit the, the final. Oh, yeah. You can't, you you have can't to, pause. You have to yeah. immediately shoot them. You have to be happy with your controller. Yeah, very happy. Yeah. Because if you don't move in the right direction, or if it pauses yeah. for like half a second, you're done. Oh, oh. not 19 for 80. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Oh, not done. Oh, no, you, oh, sorry, you're right. The last uh, life. You do seem to. Did you. Do you gain. Oh, see, so you. No, yeah, you're still one life. No, I gained a life. It was at zero. Yeah, you did. So at 20,000, you gained a life. So every 10, maybe? Maybe. That would make sense. Yeah. I don't think it's getting any harder. Definitely some coordination that you need to do uh, because you have to press and fire. Press in the direction and fire. Yeah, you do. You have to hit the direction first and then fire. And if you do it backwards, you're dead. You're dead, yeah. job love to see them as one reworked I just have an extra life and then die again Ugh. did you Wasted. i think so oh because you just hit thirty thousand. you got an extra life oh well, that's okay that was still a good score uh, yeah because it yeah. must have flipped to one and then zero immediately yeah yeah damn it i'd love yeah, to see this one reworked yes i would love to see this yeah. one reworked it's really too. good really because really they good. could easily do that shot instead of turning it into a shot mm. and also the moving ufo where you have to track it and shoot yeah. as it moves yeah yeah so there opportunity for somebody to improve yeah. you can change the graphics too a little bit closer to the arcade actually the graphics are pretty close but make the the center thing a bit bigger or, yes yes yeah. yes yes Rina Foot's saying the game manual is only like three pages long. That's well, not surprising. It's not much it's to it. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> a simple story. Yeah. How to plug in your joystick into your Atari 2600. Mm. Acknowledgements and shoot things. Yes. That's it. I like games like that. Yep. Really, there's no learning curve. Do you want another? Go no, I'm good. I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> You're happy with I'm that? pretty happy. It's a fun game, though. I'm going to try it's one a more. Nice Zen game. Yeah, yeah. See if I can beat that. Mm. And your ship doesn't appear when you die. You have to move to get your ship to appear. So there's a bug in the program. You have to move to get your ship to appear? Yeah, watch when I die. The oh, ship you doesn't mean... come back. Oh, you have to... I see. It doesn't it's draw. Just, it's, it's just gone. It's yeah. gone until you move. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it's, it, it kind of isn't great. Or at least it's progressing. It's not in a buggy mode. No. The uh, easy to win mode. <laughs> yeah. Just keep plugging at it. And it's good training mode or a mode for kids or something, but I don't know how I got into it. No. I think it was a bug. Yeah. I think something happened there. Oh, blue. Level four. rather them come out continuously than be paused so you can just boom 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 mm. like that but the pauses add add difficulty difficulty actually. yeah they do because there's no it's not a, a pattern you have to react your brain has to react to seeing the ship and then shooting it right yeah, yeah. It, is, it, it almost is seems like those uh it is zen 
like those uh, reaction tests that you do. Yeah. There's another game coming up that is total oh, reaction yellow. tests. Oh, really? <laughs> and pattern recognition. Oh, what the hell? They got you. That was terrible. Level yellow. I'm talking it's tough. Too much. Yeah, maybe. Reaction test game. So that's coming up. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, Arena Foot sent a link to me. Oh, cool. Like, oh, that one's perfect. So I'll schedule that for our, sure. our day. Like so you like puzzles. And... Yes, I do. and you wonder if it's going to start hovering off, <laughs> off the table. Yeah, no, two extra lives extra. in addition to the one you have. I think that's how they're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's how many you have in of. weight. <laughs> you have a life, and then you have two in waiting, so. Yes, that's right. Because you can play at life zero. Yes. So I'm playing at life two, and then I'll play at life one, and then play at life zero. It's what you have in, in reserve, the yes. lives in reserve. Very zen, you're not even like looking at the... You're just reacting. Yeah, they're all peripheral. And then you have to just keep the order in which they appear. It's a little confusing when they appear in the same spot as yeah, you just shot. Yeah, I, it just I looks agree, because like you want of, to move. Yeah, and it just kind of feels like it's blinking. screen. <laughs> I do not like that. But I guess it's so it doesn't make the decision for you of which direction you start off with. It's like, no, you pick which direction you want to start. I'm only dying because of stupid mistakes, not that it's too fast. But that's the whole point. Your brain so. reacts the wrong way and that's when you die. I would rather it speed up than me dying from a mistake. Just, well, because you're already at level 9, so there's no speeding up. It could yeah, continue. It could go faster. It could go it boom, could, boom, but, boom, boom, boom. But I mean, but you're at the that. maximum right now. Yes. Yeah. It could go faster. Oh, yeah. But See, it, I'm just you making still lose. Mistakes. You still lose, so. But it's a dumb way of dying. I don't <laughs> like that way of but dying. That's how this whole game works. It's always <laughs> dumb ways of dying. <laughs> there's no smart True. way of dying. Sure there is. <laughs> I mean, you could self-sacrifice and martyr yourself. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't think that's the idea. I, I, that's not the purpose. <laughs> I've got two lives, 42,000. 42. Two lives. Damn it. Arena 
foot. There's a Vault Assault Tournament Edition cart made too for the Philly Classic 3 in 2002. Ah, see, they have to make a tournament edition because this takes too long if you're really good at it. Yeah. It probably goes to level 9 immediately or something. Yeah, maybe. Or ramps up quicker. Do you know, what are the details on that, Rain of Foot? See, I went uh, to the right. That was it? Or no, one more? One, one more. more. 45. To, to good. 54, 55 more of them. <laughs> to get another oh, life. Oh, yeah. They come really fast. For some weird reason, I'm having a craving for Lucky Charms. I think it's all the colors of all the ships. Yeah. I don't know. Unknown if that game is different from, from the one you're playing. So maybe it was just a special yeah. cart that. 48,850. I'm very happy with That's that. Very good. Very I think good. I could probably play this game forever. Yeah, I think you could. If I really. if I. It's right up there with Wall Jump Ninja for, for well. continuous play. Well, that's a little different. Yeah, that's but I like could just keep going. Over and over and over. You die, just start at the beginning, keep going through. Like, yeah. there's something about Wall Jump Ninja that just, <laughs> just, I could just play that for hours. That's on the roster for the 12 hour. Yeah. Because yeah. I want to beat my score. Yeah. I, I will play you, play you that too. Yeah. Yeah. This is a reaction test in Escape from the Mind Master. You just press up, down, left, right where it points. Mm. This needs to be, this needs the circling attack and the gigantic. Gigantic uh, particle, particle explosion. Yeah, the circling attack is definitely not there. Yeah, that would yeah. be a great addition. I don't yeah. know what the gigantic particle explosion is. <laughs> we didn't watch that enough, I guess. I think. Well, no, in the video, I think when when it hits you in the middle, it all. Oh, I see. Particles? Is I that see. what you mean? Like where it, like all, it all falls apart? Yeah. Yeah, that would in be In multiple very cool. colors. Yeah. Yeah. Highscore.com has high scores for this game. Oh, does it? Really? How did I do? Yeah. Let's take Prob a look. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Because then I could just submit my video that I just did. <laughs> it's probably way higher. It's probably than that. really high because once you get in the mode of doing it, you could just do it forever. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this game called? Assault. Ah. What was it? Yeah, it's playing music. Vault assault. What is playing music? The web page. Assault. Oh, expert and novice. What? I guess this is expert. Or is it novice? Well, novice is probably the mode where though you, you were playing in, maybe. Okay. Um, arena foot in the manual. Oh, on B. On B, which is. Novice, which novice. is what we're playing. Oh, what? Emulated. I don't look at emulated scores. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play emulation, so. There's expert A and B. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing on A. Uh, novice B has pretty high scores, 229 and 115, and 30. But it says <laughs> B is novice. So we're we playing it on novice mode right now. Let's go to A then. Yeah, but you, but you, you are under the belief that it is backwards. Yes. Backwards for some reason on our system. I am under. Oh, oh no! This is definitely not novice. This is much faster. To it start is much faster. Way. Okay, well there you go. Well, there we go. Okay. So now we're on expert. A yes. is expert. Gotcha. I heard my system's not backwards. Those games are backwards. <laughs> oh no, I did confirm it on. Uh, I think I confirmed it on Stella as well that it, my system's not backwards. It just it's some just of the games are two flipped. games in a row that are just backwards. They're. Uh... Yeah, this is definitely faster to start off with. However, it's not ramping up the levels very quickly. Because the no, other one ramps up not. at 1800. But it also is, it is definitely faster. So for far, novice, number one. For novice. <laughs> novice and expert, because expert I don't think has anything. Uh, on the, on the cart? No, it had a score 30,000. I think. 30? Um, Already a third of the way there. You still haven't gone up a level. You're yeah. still in pink level. What's going on here? What is with this always playing in pink level? <laughs> yeah. I think that I think it's messed up actually. That doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. It should you should have ramped up to level two by now. 
There is definitely something weird going on. This is like the speed of yellow, but they don't. Do you want to start over and see? Because it's still pink. Yeah, it is still pink. I don't know. Should I? No. I would I would start over just to see if it does ramp up. We haven't gotten that far into it yet. So an expert. The high score is thirteen thousand. <laughs> Yeah, they're really slow to come at you. Yeah, no, no. I, th I don't think this is functioning properly. I already beat it. Try it again. Just like, just reset? Yeah, because last time you reset it and it worked properly. Uh-oh. There, there you we go. go. What is happening I with don't this know. game? I don't know. That's so weird. It's like the... F uh, I don't know. Every time you play it, <laughs> it goes, let's give James an e easier version of Yeah. And not go up in the level. That makes more sense. And that would make more sense why that's not as fun. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Eh. I think it just does. We'll see. We'll see how it gets up when you get to level 9. Mm -hmm. This is this is coming at you pretty fast. Well, you're already at level 5. And it's faster than the novice, so. Oh, yeah. Way faster. Oh, those three appeared almost at the same time. Oh yeah, this is much more enjoyable. Gives you something to do. And you got an extra life at 10, so it's still the same. Yeah, it's still the same. Oh, you're at green. Oh, oh, it's coming fast and furious. Yeah. Now you're at 9. Wow, that was quick. These are moving super fast. Yeah, because uh, if there's nothing on the screen, I might as well shoot in a direction. It is timed. Like even though there are pauses, there is a there's a timing to them for sure. Oh, oh my coming. God! Deep Expert. Deep uh, breath. Deep breath. Zen. zen. <laughs> there's no zen at this level. <laughs> zen. On on novice, there is some zen. This is this is crazy. Oh, almost a free life. It's good. Pretty good. Pretty good. One more. One more. <laughs> 19,050. I think I can do better than that. I lost a life too early. No, well, it is fast, though. Quicker game. It is a quick game, which is good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Aaron like games like this? Yeah. Yeah, he likes games like this. Like reflex. <laughs> he likes um, RPGs mostly. Mm. Ones that are more involved. Ones have, with, have more of a story. Ones with stats. Mm. Ones with mazes, maps mm. that have a bit more story to them. I usually reserve those for them. No, it's messing up again. I'm still in level one. What? Stop it! Alright, I was like, what yeah, is Yeah, you were. Well, at least you can tell pretty quick when it's messing up. Well, yeah, it usually levels up by like 2,000 points. There we go. There you go. God, so annoying. 
wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> I'm into this painting somehow, actually. <laughs> I just shoot in a direction and it that appears. That you think it's going to come. Yeah. Yeah, but that's oh. when you screw up is when you start no, those were miss, miss, miss hitting. I know. Well, 17. No. Nope. Oh, I'll retire on that. Yeah. 1950. Not That's too bad. Good. Still a world record. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I'll submit those tomorrow. Nice. So that's that's a good game. That's a really good game. Especially on hard mode. On easy Oh, yeah. Easy mode was a lot easier. Yes. For sure. When it's not glitching and yeah, keeping that's... you on level one for, for too long. Thank you very much, Arena Foot, for writing down those yes. scores. Those are very helpful, especially when I submit them later, because it's just easier yeah. to keep track of. Mm -hmm. um, so the games we played today, mm. Laser Saul um, was on its way to being a super awesome game. But, but very unfortunately, it low. didn't have the sound. <sighs> um, and there's, there's some weirdness going on there. Yeah. Very confusing to figure out very who's confusing. down in ships and... I think yeah. it would have been... It makes more probably make more sense if it had the I, sound. Good, good working oh, yeah. concept. Of, oh yeah. Of, yeah, shooting all these things and it affects your gameplay. Yes, or, I like that. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Does random stuff. Um, gunfight, lots of variation. Yeah, gunfight. I super enjoyed. Yeah. I think if you have two people and you've got some time to kill, play gunfight. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, really good. Nice simple concept and yeah. Jammed. It's it's a great puzzle game. I mean, not exciting for a stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> Most puzzle games uh, yeah. aren't. But that's... Uh, no, just... And again, if you're by yourself and you have time to kill, that's yeah. a good one to play because it's just a, little, a whole little series of puzzles. And, uh, it's the type of game that could be on your cell phone. Do you know what I mean? It yeah, could be a that cell is phone a perfect game. cell phone game. <laughs> that, and, that's just simple. And translated easy. really yeah. well to the 2600. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, you can move them around really quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Vault Assault, great reaction game. Yeah. Yeah, really, really as, good. As you say, it's a port of another game. And yes, those other an elements, it would be nice if those other elements made it less repetitive. Yeah. Um, I mean, on the expert mode, it's over and done with pretty quick. So that's not too bad. On, yeah. On the novice mode, adding those things in would be nice. Yes. To, to have that kind of breaks up the monotony yeah. of, of just shooting, shooting, shooting. Mm -hmm. but still really good as it is. Like yes. super, super fun. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, all, all I can see myself coming back to this one for to try and get higher scores. Yes. It's one of those games where you, yeah. you feel like you can do just a bit better than, than you did. Mm -hmm. But at least I'll be able to submit both those scores. Yeah. 30,000 and 70 and then 1950 on the two variations. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, the emulated people are have gone nuts. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, oh, that's on the easy variation. They posted those scores. Oh my goodness. Yeah. When yeah, it's emulated, you can go for you a long have time. more. You can just use. Yeah, key the, presses, the key presses, which is a lot faster than. 
much. Yeah, shorter you know, travel just, time. If it's just key presses, it's really quickly. Yeah. You can you can hit them really quick. Yeah. When you have to aim it and hit it, and then it would be I different. can see using a, a gamepad. Pretty good for this game, too. <laughs> yeah. Just up, down, left, right. Yeah. And shooting. Yeah. It would be really uh, useful. <laughs> Excuse me. So. Oh wine. God. It's the wine. It's the wine. <laughs> wine and a long day at work. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got a whole bunch of games coming up. I've thrown a bunch in thanks to Arena Foot, who gave me a bunch of suggestions Excellent. for other homebrews to play. If you guys out there have any suggestions mm -hmm. um, for games that I haven't covered on the show, or I haven't covered enough, maybe, <laughs> and played it to its fullest extent, um, uh, send me a message on any of my um, social media, and I will take a look at that. So next episode, we're going to be playing Doom Patrol. Uh, Bag Boy, which is a work in progress, and going for high score on Minor 2049er, Faster Hack, which was um, uh, part of the, uh, is part of the Homebrew Tournament, part two, round okay. two. I won round one. So Did you really? Yes. <laughs> what game was it? Uh, it got super, super high score. Damn it. I forget. Let's see what it, what was it? Oh, Aardvark. I just trounced oh, you, everyone. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. By he, sheer will alone. He, he, you're just an Aardvark expert, so. <laughs> so far, we'll see when the final thing gets released. How how good I am. Oh yeah. Because it'll ramp up a lot more than it did. Yeah. It, it leveled out. That's it did well because it it just kept repeating. Oh, Arena Foot is in the lead for round two. Ooh, hoo -hoo, you've got competition. Ooh, it's on. <laughs> As, yes, Harmony Games round two. Nice. Uh. So, and then uh, upcoming other games, Red Shirts, Project Z, Yahtzee, we're playing that. Oh, good. I like yeah, Yahtzee. Yahtzee I played a lot of when I was young. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, the secret new Champ Games homebrew that nobody knows what it is except Ooh. Ice Posta. Yep. <laughs> and and uh, Nathan Strum and uh, John Champa. Well, the people who worked on it. <laughs> people are working on it. They don't count. It. They don't No, count. they yeah. don't. They don't. Uh, yeah. If you work on it, of course you know. Mm -hmm. Um. And so we're going to say goodbye to all the people. And, of course, we also have the Uno Kart games, mm. secret game coming up. Yep. The 12-hour marathon, Stella for raising money for Stella. When, the what date emulator. again? Uh, probably the 28th mm. of June. Okay. I'm um, not quite perfectly sure on that, but that's... Because that's the Friday. Oh, and Darcy's here, so most likely. Uh, still Friday, wait, Still yeah. waiting for that Uno game. Yes, well, now we've got the Uno Kart working yeah um, we can play it so you'll be able yep. to see it um i suppose says i'm not a hundred percent oh so he has he has an oh in, but he's, he has he, ideas he, he okay. has ideas of what it is. so thanks for tuning in i supposed to arena foot dan avc uh militant buddhist rc7e the, the real ozyr oh welcome ozer mm. ozer mm -hmm. uh who else is typing Proto Man K. Oh, yes. I missed your name. Sorry. Yeah, from Brazil. Woo. Oh, Brazil. Awesome. Yeah. There's actually a Brazilian uh, Atari uh, developer, Atari 2600 developer Maybe down there. <laughs> is it? Is it you? Do you, do you make games? Yeah. It's very expensive to to import those games, though. I haven't bought any of them. There is one that I want, but it ends up being a hundred dollars Canadian just to ship it for the game for the game completely with, oh with i see with the shipping yeah, yeah. and i just yeah, can't i can't do it i can't Canada bring myself and, and brazil are kind of really far, far apart unfortunately but yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll figure some of it out who else is that? Uh, at the top of the show uh ground RC trooper 70. as well yeah rc70 yeah so uh Thank rally you. racer it is ozier it is more the real work ozier. The real Azir. Ozir. Ozir. And Azure Azir. says 6502 is still here. Yeah. Yes, More Work Games. That's the name of the company. Uh, it's not Rally Racer that I was interested in. It was another one. The re the Marauder. Marauder? The real Marauder or something yeah. like that. That looked interesting. It was like this helicopter and you fly yeah. underground and stuff. Or, no, oh, that was another game. I think they have three games. Anyway, the one I want is the... The, the real Marauder and the, the helicopter one. New yeah. Marauder. New Marauder. Thank New you. is Marauder something. Yeah. Um, so thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Wednesday yes. with Erlen. Mm -hmm. So tune in then. It'll be 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern, and 7 p.m. Uh, GMT. I'm memorizing all these. <laughs> 
<laughs> all these time zones. All the time zones. Oh, Ground Trooper bought it. So expensive. Yeah, yes. It's a I shame. mean, it's really nice packaging. I mean, you get the cartridge and you get the nice box and everything, yeah. but just it's too much. Yeah. It's too much money. I just can't spend it. Yeah. I mean, Atari Age stuff is is reasonable, like good pricing for what yeah. you get. Yeah. Um, so I tend to go towards them. Or other other people that sell them. Usually the other ones, the other stores don't sell boxes, so it's usually around twenty twenty five dollars for. Oh, cartridge. for just the cartridge. Just the itself. cartridge yeah, and yeah, the yeah. manual. Yeah. That's totally fine. Yeah. That's yeah. U.S. Yeah. It's Ninety dollars U.S. It's oh my tough. God! Never yeah. mind. That's even more than a hundred Canadian. Yeah. That's one twenty. Yeah. Passing on rally race. <laughs> <laughs> so you bought a new Marauder? Oh, very cool. Okay. Mm. Well, that is one because every time you turn on the cartridge, I believe. It's a different map or something. Oh, so it's kind of kind of interesting, cool. yeah, because yeah. it's randomized. It's random, ge yeah. randomly generated, yeah. The box is the most expensive part of the homebrew process. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's crazy that the, the cardboard box is the most expensive part. Well, aren't a lot of homebrews on cartridges? Aren't they repurposed? Uh, yeah, Atari Age is repurposing cartridges, so but yeah. they do use a special. Um, kind of motherboard or chip yeah. for it but he does them on mass and they're all the same yeah okay. and he just flashes them so he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to get those built for mm -hmm. each game they're all exactly the same so mm -hmm. that's where you save costs if you do it in mass mm -hmm. and the boxes are all different mm -hmm. and i guess the the uh, manual too mm -hmm. um so thanks for tuning in yep. and uh we will see you next uh wednesday and, uh, well, I won't, but, nope. but you will. <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> yep, two weeks. Okay. Two weeks. See you then. Bye. Bye, Bye. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Yeah, have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Yeah.